Okay, so let's look at mole ratios and chemical formulas and how these two relate to one another and how we can use them. Basically, the relationship is that the mole ratio of elements in a sample has to be the same as the ratio of the atoms in the chemical formula. And this is all due to the law of constant composition. So what does this mean? Well, let's say you have a glass of water. And that water is just sitting there. It is H2O. It is not changing its composition. You will always have two hydrogen atoms for every one oxygen atom. And so if you analyze this glass of water and you found that you had four moles of oxygen, how many moles of hydrogen would there be? Well, you can find that based on this ratio. So for every mole, um, we'll see, yeah, so four moles of oxygen and you wanted to solve four moles of hydrogen, that has to be the same as one atom of oxygen for every two atoms of hydrogen. And when you cross multiply and solve for x, x has to equal eight moles of hydrogen. And that should make sense. So this concept is the same um, for any situation. And so we can look at problem one here a chemist analyzed a sample of an unknown chlorocarbon, C2ClX, and it was found to contain 7.1 moles of chlorine and 2.38 moles of carbon. Well, we can just go ahead and set up our ratio. 7.1 moles of chlorine for 2.38 moles of carbon. That has to be the ratio um, that ratio has to be followed in the chemical formula, so x atoms of Cl for every two atoms of carbon. When you cross multiply and solve for x, you find that x equals 5.97 atoms of chlorine. Well, you can't have 5.97 atoms, but you can round up to 6, and so our chemical formula must be C2Cl6, and that is the answer to question one. What about another scenario here in problem two? Calcium carbonate, and we're given the formula, is the main component of eggshells, pearls, and chalk. An analytical chemist determined that a sample contains 14.7 moles of oxygen, and we need to find how many moles of calcium there are. So we can set up the same sort of ratio. If we have 14.7 moles of oxygen and we need to solve for x moles of calcium, that has to be the same as the relationship here in the chemical formula, which says that there are three atoms of oxygen for every one mole, or one atom, rather, of calcium. And when you cross multiply, you find that 14.7 must equal 3x. When you solve for x, x has to equal 4.9 moles of calcium. And that's the answer. So you can use mole ratios to determine chemical formulas or chemical formulas to determine how many moles there are in a sample. And this is all based on the law of constant composition.